G'day and welcome to Five Minutes with Fitzy. Peter Fitzalmond is here. Hello, Peter. Well, I'm very well, thank you, James, for asking. And I do not have speckled white paint on my T-shirt. It's, it's a very stylishly Harbour Bridgey type T-shirt. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, it looks like you've been painting the fence. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get into it. Yep. I, I don't want to say I told you so or mm. and, yeah, and try and look like a, an idiot here, but... I tell you what, it wasn't hard as a rugby fan and have been for a long time, grew up worshipping a lot of the Wallabies, to feel like after that 16 all win, which you called it last mm. week, that perhaps we might be put in our place the following weekend at Eden Park, where they haven't won since 1986. And Peter, that is exactly what unfolded. The share market calls it a correction. <laughs> yes, that's... <laughs> and it was something yep. of a correction that, you know, again, at Eden Park, yep. the All Blacks came, came out on fire. The, 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 let's go to the good... Good news first. The one thing I did say, it was a wonderful 16-all win in that first test. The the worry was we weren't winning line-outs and we weren't winning scrumps. So well, the and that you're, caught, you're celebrating a draw as a win. That's the other issue there, isn't it? <sighs> Jesus, under the circumstances, mate, we're, we're in, you and I are dying in the Nullarbor Desert and we've come across an oasis and you're saying, I don't think it's a very big oasis. I'm saying it's an oasis. I'm saying, you know, we, we can live. If you go up against the best team in the world and you're on their home turf and you record a 16-all draw, it's a victory of sorts, and I, I don't back off from that. But what happened on, on this last weekend at Eden Park, uh, the good news is suddenly the scrums were better and suddenly the lineouts were better. You know, they were all flying, and we haven't seen that for years. So that was the good news. The bad news was simply turnovers. You know, there the were error rate. The uh, error rate. So in 80 minutes, I think there were 20 or 21 still just, you know, what we used to call ching ching. Yep. Cough it up, cough it up like a catch. Out against the out of, no, you can't, you can't do that. So you know, it was not that. That was very sobering. And I, you'll know the name of that All Black winger with the bun on the back of his head. It was like he reminded me of Jonah Lomu. He was fantastic. Yeah, great game. I should oh, know his wing. name because uh, I, I suspect it's going to be emblazoned on Australian foreigns for a decade to come. I've got um, a quote here from the New Zealand Herald sports writer, Gregor Paul. He wrote, What the All Blacks remembered at Eden Park is that Australia doesn't actually do genuine hard men. Whoa, how does that sit with you? <laughs> well, as a, someone that probably would like to see themselves as a genuine Look, hard men back I'm, in your footy days. I am tragically, I've said this many times, tragically proud of the fact that I'm the only Wallaby in 100 years to have been sent off the, all, oh. off the field against the All Blacks for violence. That's something, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't that qualify for hard men? Is he right? Is it? What, what does he, what's he mean there? Well, look, the, no, 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 he's not right because that, that Wallaby pack actually, you know, they, they in particularly in that first game mm. at Wellington, they actually hurt the All Black forward pack and they were making metres all the way. You know, we don't have guys that give away stupid penalties like I do. You know, we've got, we've got they're a far more disciplined control mob. But this, look, there's promise in this side. And the, and the big news is, after the year that Australian rugby has come off with no, no play to speak of, Sacked administration, you know, moved on and Raylene Castle's gone and new coach and, you know, all of this upset and guys going off to Europe. You wouldn't have been surprised if the Wallabies lost by 30 or 40 points or just couldn't compete with the All Blacks. And the news is, in the first game, 16 all draw. In this game, they were off by 20 or so points, but they were competitive and, you know, that's something. Two more tests still to come, but... They head our way now over to this side of the Dutch. Yes, I don't. We Crystal don't have, ball it. We, well, we don't have a fortress like they have a fortress. Their fortress is Eden Park. You know, you're taking on on there. You're taking on. Yep. You know, you're taking on a serious outfit in in what is their home, and we don't have. You know, the Olympic Stadium at Homebush. That is not, you know, considered like the fortress. Our guys don't draw spiritual strength from there. Like the way back in the day you'd used to from, I don't know, I used to I used to love playing at the Sydney Football Stadium because you'd stand there and the way that was, there was a solid wall of your own people mm. right face to face with you and you'd sing the national anthem. They were tight upon you. And I don't know, I used to feel I'd put on 10 kilograms of muscle and be two metres faster across 50 metres because there was just that feeling like that. And I think that with Homebush, uh, Olympic Stadium, it's so much wider out that, you know, their people are further away and it's not something whereby you go, well, this is our fortress. Against that, you know, Dave Rennie is off to a good start and he's got, there is material there to work with no of good players who will, the first thing they'll say is, you know, after that first test, we fixed the line out, we fixed the scrum, both of those work. Okay, what are we going to do to stop the turnovers? Because that's what's killing them. And the other one, the obvious one, was missed tackles. Against, you know, with the missed tackles, you know, 
I, I, I'm reluctant to say those bastards should tackle harder given that you compare yourself. And I, I was never a good tackler. Hated it. Absolutely hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I was not a good tackler. But they do, this, this modern, these modern professional wallabies, obviously, that, that's the other thing is to fix their defence. Can we win a match of the last two, in a word? We might get another victory in a draw. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you, Peter. Good to chat as always. Thank you. Five minutes with Fitzy on the back of the Wallabies loss at Eden Park.